Hello, it's time for another map part. This one was, well, a learning experience for me. It's my first time in a map with set designs, and my first time in a map doing a part with a real script. Well, a real script on my part, anyways. This one is hosted by Shummy, and it's to a Backyardigans song. I'm going to be honest, I never saw Backyardigans as a kid. I was already 11 when it came out. I did go back and watch a couple episodes, though, and now I sing It's Hard to Be a Wizard twice a day. I like the purple one. Anyways, map part. I am not trained whatsoever in animation. I'm using this as a backdrop to explain the horrible mistake I made in this particular instance. I decided, against all good judgment, to animate all of Leaf Kit's body parts on separate layers. Only in the first shot, though. I was like, this will make it easier, this will keep all of her body parts consistent. I was wrong, it had the opposite effect. At best, a lot of it wasn't any different than if I had animated them all together, and at worst I spent 10,000 years trying to find all the little errors I made all over her body. There are situations in which her body moves, but her eyes don't, or her ears fluff and flop around, while the rest of her body is completely still. While coloring, I had to make even more layers and frames than I had any right to. Meanwhile, after doing this with Leaf Kit's first shot, I did everything else normally and they all turned out a lot better with a lot less effort. I wasn't sure if or not to use my usual style for this. Initial drawings were too cutesy and while I like cutesy, it made them look super different from the reference sheets. So I decided to go for a style that more closely resembled my short videos than my previous map parts so the characters are more recognizable. Here's the line art, but at no point in the process did the animation actually look like this. I did it in such a way that I finished Leaf Kit's first shot before doing anything else. So most of my work in progress shots were a mouthless, armless Leaf Kit wiggling in front of various levels of progress. Also, uh, did you know that Clip Studio Paint can tween? I learned that uh, yesterday when I was thinking about porting this to After Effects to do backgrounds. I didn't need to. Oh, another horrible mistake. A lot of my coloring work for this I actually managed to do on my laptop with the stabilization up to like 47. My laptop screen is so oversaturated that there was no difference between the ear color and Squirrel Kit's base color. So I had to do a lot of fixing when I got back to my desktop and realized she was flashing rapidly between two shades of red. This actually happens a lot with laptop and phone screens. Uh, so if you see these two shades of red and they do not look different, that means your screen is way too saturated. <laughs> Overall, I'm really happy to be part of this map. It's super cute, I love Squirrel Flight, and you guys already knew that. Oh, and just so you know, there's a thumbnail contest for this one, so I'll link that in the description if anyone wants to check it out. Thanks.